Welcome to season two of The Adventurous Way. We are here at the Cabrillo National Monument, stop number 15, on our journey to visit all 400 plus national park units. We finished season one in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, and then we drove into California. We stayed in Anza Borrego uh, State Park. And now we're stopping by at Cambrio National Monument with our trailer because we are on our way to LA, Santa Monica National Recreational Area so that we can properly start Route 66 from the Santa Monica Pier with our RV. Cabrillo National Monument sits at the southern tip of the Point Loma Peninsula, west of San Diego, California. From this vantage point, visitors are afforded panoramic views across the San Diego Harbor and city skyline. The Cabrillo National Monument commemorates the first European steps on the West Coast. In 1942, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sailed into this harbor and became the first European to set foot on the west coast of the United States. History describes Cabrillo as an Iberian explorer. Whether he was Spanish or Portuguese is debated. But when he set out in June 1542 with three ships, his expedition would become the first European expedition to land on what was to become the west coast of America. Here behind me you can see the Old Point Loma Lighthouse, which is one of the first eight lighthouses built on the west coast. The construction of the lighthouse began in 1854 using materials from San Francisco, although the lantern and the lens had to be made in Paris and arrived in August 1855. Standing atop a cliff of 422 feet, its light shone from a height of 462 feet, giving it the highest elevation of any lighthouse in the US at the time it operated. However, it transpired that this elevation was less of an advantage than initially thought, its bright light often obscured by fog and low clouds. In 1891, its flame was permanently extinguished. Now it has been restored as a museum, showing what life would have been like for the lighthouse keeper and his family in the 1880s. We are here in April, and this is actually not a good time to see the tide pools, because the water levels are too high, even at low tide. Um, according to the ranger, the best time for that is to come here in winter. I guess that just means we'll have to come back again. During high tide, a couple hours is all it takes to explore Cabrillo National Monument. You can learn about both the history of the original Cabrillo expedition, as well as the lighthouse that now sits on the Point Loma summit. But the main attraction is the chance to explore the shoreline and its intertidal zones during low tide. Supposedly the best time for this is late fall and winter, so if you can handle the cooler temperatures, I suspect there are hours of fun to be had exploring the tide pools. We definitely feel like we missed out on this, so we've made a note to make sure we visit Cabrillo National Monument again if we find ourselves back in the area during the winter months. From here, we'll be heading a little further north up the coast to explore the Santa Monica National Recreation Area. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our national park adventures. And in the comments below, let us know if you've been to Cabrillo National Monument and seen the tide pools. In 1542, in 1542, those birds are annoying. Oh, there's a bee! Look at that! You've arrived. Totally, yes, I like. Even though you're dumping your pet at the moment, that's pretty good. Right. Right.